I mean, honestly, look at this. You wanna make a routine transfer, Ben? We'll make sure every single one of these characters is correct. Or how about this? More, huh? It doesn't even finish telling me. Uh. We are, of course, talking about how nobody knows what any of their transactions do on their hardware wallets. And I know this because a lot of you crypto natives will get this to show up on your hardware wallet without any clue what it does, and you'll sign it anyways. Crypto isn't ready for retail because even crypto isn't ready for crypto. And it doesn't matter. If you've got Bitbox, Cypher Rock, One Key, Ledger, Keystone, Tangent, Grid Lattice Plus, Engrave, Trezor Model T, Trezor Safe 5, SafePal, Burner. I even bought a freaking Solana phone with a seed phrase built into the damn thing. The one with the best UX is the Grid Lattice Plus because it decodes most transactions. But if you have a complex transaction, first off, you gotta lift it off the ground because you gotta be a freaking power lifter to lift it. And then this is what it gives you, which isn't too bad because it decodes some of it. However, Approve that, buddy. By the way, if a single character is off, you lose all your money. Oh yeah, and there are more pages with that, by the way. And look at that. I've got so many hardware wallets now, I literally cannot hold them all. Son of a bitch. Now this wouldn't be so bad if I could get the call data or transaction data off the device and then go verify someplace else. But like right now, it's air gapped on purpose for security. So what am I supposed to do? Uh, I guess I could take a photo of it and then send the image to my computer and use AI to extract the call data from the image. Or I guess I could just look at every single character on the screen, even if there's like a thousand, and make sure my human eyes don't miss one by accident, because the one character I miss could be the one that drains all my funds. Or do I just say F it, and I connect my hardware wallet to MetaMask, get all the call data off MetaMask, and then just use MetaMask as a proxy for every transaction, because I can actually get the call data off of MetaMask. But if I do that, what's the point of using the hardware wallet? If you use a hardware wallet, I almost know for a fact you're full of shit. You spend half a million dollars on an audit. If you you hire the best AI engineers on the planet to build your website. If when their users go to sign a transaction on your smart contract, if they go, oh yeah, that transaction looks good to me, let me sign. Then what are we even talking about here? Browser wallets like Rabi and MetaMask do a great job of decoding call data, but even they don't do enough, but they do better than most hardware wallets. So then I asked myself, okay, well, why don't we just tell people to use software wallets instead of hardware wallets? And the answer is because these are much harder to hack than your freaking browser. You click one phishing link, you download the wrong thing by accident, and boom, you're compromised. It's a lot harder to do that with these. All right now, y'all, who here loves self-custody? So much so that you all verify your call data? Huh? Hackers know this today, and the strategy that they're implementing is they take our website, out of 10,000 transactions, they mess with one or two, and they know that nobody knows what the hell they're signing. So when somebody goes to sign it, and they lose all their money, and that person goes, oh my god, the website just stole all my money. Everyone else goes, well, it's working for me, so you must be an idiot. How do I know this is what they're doing? Well, because this is what they did for Bybit, Radiant, and Wazir, uh, this last one. And it doesn't even matter which hardware wallet you use. The good news is not all hope is lost. If you're a fucking nerd like me, you can use tools like Ysigner to learn how to verify your call data and learn how to actually know what the hell you're signing. And you can use up and coming sites like WalletBeat to learn more about the safety and features of different wallets. And if you're not a nerd, you're kind of shit out of luck today. However, there are some fantastic discussions going on in the ETH Magicians forum about spinning up QR codes, hashing the call data. I highly recommend you jump into it because I think the QR code solution holds a lot of water. And other tools like Swiss Knife and Safe Utils have come up to make non-technical users' life a little bit easier. And I know I'm giving all these wallets a lot of shit, but I also understand it's really difficult to build a hardware wallet. And I know a lot of these people are working diligently to solve the problem. Ledger, for example, has a whole EIP called 7730, which they're trying to implement. Grid Lattice Plus does a decent amount of nested decoding call data. And you can see a lot of these competitive of teams actively trying to solve these problems together, which is awesome to see. But for the foreseeable future, we're going to continue to get hacked until we start taking this more seriously. So here's what I want you to do. The next time you sign a transaction, or the next time you have a conversation with somebody who signs transactions, ask them two questions. One, do you use a hardware wallet? And number two, why are you so full of shit? Don't verify your call data on your device. Because I promise you, they don't. I feel like I'm the only dipshit who actually does that. And then number three, Ask them, since you're so full of shit, why don't you join the discussions in the Ethereum Magicians forum so that we as an industry can come to a solution to make this a lot better. Because until this is solved, my advice is if you're not a developer, you should not participate in Web3 because you'll sign something that you don't know what it does and you'll lose all your money. This year, NK Hackers basically said, you know what, smart contracts are, are kind of hard to crack, but humans are idiots. So let's just go back to hacking them and they're making a lot of money doing that. Let's not make it so easy for them. Learn to sign, participate in the forums, and thank you to all the hardware wallet teams working on this problem.